How was the offensive line look? They placed a couple guys this year, I mean, especially you know, for you to have to run through those holes all the time. How, how the holes going along? How they look? <laughs> they look great. Uh, a lot of the guys that, that didn't play uh, or played behind the seniors last year, yeah, those guys are eager, mm -hmm. and you could tell. Um, they're excited, man. They just they just want to smash, and put, run the ball every play. It's like, guys, you got to pass block. <laughs> you know what I mean? so it's a uh, they're, they're excited though, and they've been doing a great job. Silas, um, Bill O'Brien said Mike, uh, Michael Zort said Bill O'Brien is more of like an in-your-face kind of coach, and more so than in the past. Uh, can you just talk about how you guys have been responding to that? Uh, we've responded responded to it well because he's a guy we respect, and at the end of the day, we know that if. We have his back. He's gonna have ours, and uh, we just buy into what he he's all about and, and his coaching style and everything. And uh, you know, I, I only think that that's gonna take us farther than uh, than we were last year. So, Charles, how tough is it is, is it, it to pick up this offense? It's pretty tough. It's a complex offense. Uh, a lot of formations. The, the key is to learn your formations because once you do that, then everything else gets easier. But the formations itself are you know there's a lot of them and there's a lot of memorization, but you know, so how much like study time athletes. you have to put in and all that stuff? Is it something you do every day? It's something yeah. you've done for months? Yeah, yeah definitely something every day. Way. As soon as we got the playbook, I know I've, I've been in it every day. So, uh, and I still don't have everything there. You know, so it's, it's it's a lot. But, you know, like I said, we're division one athletes. So, you know, that's what we're supposed to do. So. How much time per day would you say you spend on reading that? Uh, on my own? Yeah. Say at least 30 to 45 minutes on my own. And then... Whenever I'm here, I'm, I'm in the playbook as well. So. Gary said he brings around flashcards. Do you do anything like that? He's a binder of flashcards. I don't do the flashcards, <laughs> but uh, but I mean that does help for some guys. I know some quarterbacks have flashcards too, but uh, it's always in my backpack. So say I don't know, I'm at lunch or something like that. I'm in the hub or something. I'll, I'll bring it out and you know study it a little bit while I'm eating. And have they given you everything, or are they sort of sort of? Feeding your stuff piecemeal and we'll give you like another 50% of the offseason. That's sort of stuff. Do you know what, what they're doing? I think we pretty much have everything. Okay. Uh, they've told us what we're going to go over in spring ball and what we're going to leave for summer camp. So uh, I think we have everything, but not everything is implemented. Okay. How many times do we want to carry the ball? The game? Yeah, just right to it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, whatever my team needs. Oh, what needs do you think carry. you can handle? Uh, I'd say 20, 20 to 24, that's a good number. Has, have they limited your reps in spring practice so you're not getting more down? I mean, are they kind of pacing you more so that you can get that amount of carries in the season? Uh, they weren't until my, my knee started flaring up a little bit, uh, then it would slow down on the reps, but once that gets better, uh, I'll be right back I, to I that. I missed that one, did it flare up? Uh, Two or three practices ago. Same thing. Just from the bowl game when you when you heard it. Yeah, that's what started it. Yeah. yeah so. so are you playing Saturday or? Oh yeah, okay. yeah. I know, absolutely. Because I know Evan, yeah. Evan got held out. This yeah. Nah, year. nah. I'm not pulling the E-Roy. <laughs> <laughs> you said you want to become a more complete back. Obviously, you have the speed and the power. How how do you go about doing that? Can you talk about that a little bit more? Uh, well, like I said, just buying into what's going on in the weight room. That's going to help a great deal. Um, I think a lot of it is really just. Then the mental side of the football, just understanding the offense and understanding not only my position but the front, uh, the front guys and what the wide receivers are doing, and then just understanding what the defense is doing as well. You know, just that's where game planning comes in and all that. So, just think being a student of the game is gonna is gonna help me. Coach O'Brien came in with the, the passing reputation. Have you noticed a difference in the balance compared to the the old schemes or anything like that? Uh, I think you know people think it's going to be a pass heavy, pass heavy team, and it and it really hasn't been like that uh, this spring. You know we've been pretty balanced as far as running pass, and uh, I think he's done a great job with that because you know obviously as a running back you don't want to be pass, 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 and uh, I think. Like I said, he's done a great job with just the balance run pass when we need to. He's all about situational football, and that's what I love about him because everything is situational with him, and uh, it seems to be, be working great so far. With the with the passing game in New England, he kind of worked the uh, the short passing game in sort of lieu of the running game. Has have you seen any of that or any of that any of that approach this year? Definitely, uh, you know, a lot of crossing routes to the back and the screens to the back, different type of screens and stuff that'll uh, probably make up for some, some carries loss, but uh, like I said, it's, it's still been a great balance so far. Have you talked to Curtis at all, Dukes? Yeah, what, every day. How's he doing with being held out and everything? Uh, he's doing well, you know, 
it's a student athlete, so he's getting a student part of it uh, uh, done before he can get out here, and uh, we all support him. And I know he's doing been doing a great job so far. So still doing the workouts and everything like Absolutely, that. Absolutely, yeah. Me and him, uh, was about four of us that work out at 6 a.m. when we have our workout days, and uh, he's one of them, and he's going as hard as he's ever gone. Do you know how they broke the news to him, or what did he have to say to you when he found out he wouldn't be going? Or uh, that was really between him and Coach London. I, I don't really know too much about. Uh, who was told or what happened? But uh, I know he was just happy that you know he was he was still optimistic about the whole thing and uh, you know just needed to get his grades up and that's what he's doing. So he'll be here for uh, summer camp. What do, you think, what do you think of Belton so far? Belton's <laughs> you guys are in for a treat with with, with Billy Bean. Uh, he's pretty <laughs> he's pretty good, um, a fluent runner, and it, it just really comes almost natural to him. You know, I'm. Sometimes I'm looking at him, I'm like, man, I, you know, I need to watch my back a little bit. But, uh, yeah, he's, he's been a pleasure to, to play with. And I try to just teach him some of the things I've been taught over the years from Steph Green and, and Eroy and all that stuff. I try to teach him a little bit. So playing a big brother role.